All right. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and we are back with another champion spotlight for our free-to-play Mystery Shard Only run. Today, we're going to be talking about High Katoon. I don't know if I said it right. High Katoon. Katoon. Kata. All right, I'm done. Hi, Katoon. Whatever. We're going to go with that. That's what we're going with. All right. She is a barbarian that everybody gets in the game for playing. I think she is the first login hero, actually, for the month, I believe. So everyone gets her. You can all use her. She's great, I guess. The funny thing is, is that I had heroes like Apothecary and Diabolus already set up to kind of run. So she wasn't as useful to me as she probably would be to most people. I think she's gaining value the more I build her. And the reason is because she's spirit affinity and I only have apothecary and basically all of my speed heroes are magic. So having a spirit affinity speeder is actually kind of nice. So let's see what she does and kind of how I've used her so far. Skills. She basically attacks one enemy, has a 25% chance of placing 30% decreased speed debuff for two turns. Very good for bosses that you want to slow down. Could be useful in Spider. Unfortunately, I don't really use her there, but she is on a lot of people's spiders team, Spider teams. So don't think that just because I don't use her there that she's not usable there. Uh, fills turn meter of all allies by 15% and places a 30% increased speed buff on all allies. That's her main skill there. You really want to use that a lot. And then she also attacks all enemies and reduces turn meter. Now, the reason I don't use this now is because on Spider, I actually have the fire from the burn, HP burn. And essentially the spiders, you want them to take turns because they... They burn every time they take a turn. So lowering any turn meter on them would kind of be dumb. You just want to keep the boss going on turn meter reduction, and that's it. So that's it's not the reason I don't use her, I would say, but it's a reason I don't use her. And yeah, you could use a, a bunch of... If you have like cold hearts and things like that, yeah, you could bring her in Spider with cold heart and armagers and just kill the boss in three seconds. That is a very viable solution. So... She is way more valuable than I'm going to make her out to be, just so you guys know. All right. So those are her skills. I have her in Chain Breaker Blessing. That way, you know, she has a chance to remove anything so she can keep doing her skills. We don't want anything like that. She does have a 19% increased speed in all battles, which is obviously very good. You can use her as a speed lead to get through, you know, dungeons quicker. You can use her in the arena as your speed lead if you don't have anyone better, like Arbiter or what's that guy? The, the demon dude who's got. A speed lead that's like 29. There's a bunch of legendaries that have a good speed lead. But she's the one I see the most in the arena. Just because she's a budget version of those heroes. So you can use her as your arena speed lead. Just know that she only gives you 19 instead of, you know, Arbiter who has a 30%. That's it. So it's, is it a big deal? Probably not if you're playing like I'm playing. Or if you're starting out new. It's probably not a huge difference. But when it gets down to the point where, like, one speed can basically mean you go first or not, yeah, that 30% is going to be a big difference at the end. Uh, all right, Masteries. This is what I did with her. We did build her a little more accuracy and attack. We didn't really go so much defense because we wanted her to land her debuffs, and we want her to do some more damage because she does have a lot of attacks. So we went down to War Master, got her all fixed up in offense. Support, we went down this tree. I always use this one. For the 5% chance of decreasing a cooldown is always good. Um, I never really use the book just because I don't really put those sets on thing, on heroes so much. It's mostly like, you know, life steal and other things that aren't really affected by it. And then we've got her in decreasing turn meter stuff and has a 30% chance to increase the duration of any debuff so she can drop speed and then keep it up for longer. So that's really what's more important. You could do increased buff, but I don't think that really matters. I don't think she really buffs anyone, right? No, she's just a speed up, really. So turn meter up. So that's what we did on Masteries. As far as artifacts go, if it really just depends on what you're going to be using her for. Uh, and that kind of that's kind of like how I we have a little bit of a trouble with like certain heroes when people ask me like hey where do you use this person what gear should i use it's like it really just depends on where you're going to use them and how you're going to use them and what heroes they're going to be with because that changes everything um i was bringing her into spider in the beginning because i needed a speeder who was spirit so we built her up and we put her in regen because she has no heals she this is like the downfall of almost every turn boost 
person that is in this game is that they don't have a heal, which is why Apothecary is so good. Um, but they work if you have another healer or if you have, you know, a shielder or a protect, protect all allies hero that can keep her alive long enough to get her HP back. So that's why we put her in regen because she has no healing. So that'll keep her alive while she still does the things that she's doing. Uh, we did put her in what a crit damage glove because that's all I had. I don't know why I put it in there. There's no reason for me to have it on her. To be honest, I would probably say you should put defense on her or something else besides crit damage. This is actually a pretty sexy glove, by the way. I now that I'm looking at it, it's got all the skills she really kind of needs except attack and crit damage. Funny. Uh, we have defense on the chest. Obviously, speed on the boots and everything else. I think a lot of this might be from, what's his name, from the DK set for Ultimate Death Knight. I might have pulled some of these from there. I don't remember. But either way, that's what we got her in. We've got her in an HP. We wanted her to have high HP for the spider so that she doesn't get targeted. So I remember adding this. So I could change this to defense if I really wanted to. Uh, HP on here also. And we've got HP on the banner. All of these are wrong. Like I said, I was. This is. she is still in the tuning that I did for Spider in the beginning because I literally don't ever use her. Uh, we would more than likely want to put her in something better. If I'm looking at this, like, yeah, defense, with maybe attack on it, but you'd want accuracy and defense. So, like, this would be not good because it's an attack one, attack. I have a lot of attack, apparently. So out of all of these, I'd pick this one because it would give her some more defense. And as far as the rings go, yeah, the defense, here we go, 5% defense and HP, that's good. HP we don't really need. I would consider this just because we get it you know, 5% damage after attacking as a shield, so that's not bad, or a chance to change a critical hit, that would probably be better. I would actually pick this ring out of all of them, probably, because this has the chance to stop a critical hit, which is good for her, because you want her to survive. That's what we want. So that's how I would change her. I honestly, like I said, I don't use her enough for me to have, obviously, even changed anything. Uh, yeah, she still has a four-star banner, and I can't remember the last time I actually pulled her into a fight. Let's Let's just... Be clear. I use all my other speed heroes. <laughs> that's how much I uh, I use her. So, but that's her in a nutshell. Let's look at her total stats for right now as to where she is. 45,000 HP, because like I said, we wanted her HP to be high for Spider so that she doesn't get targeted. So having all that HP could might be a good thing. She's got attack 2,200. Not super important here. Defense 29. I would say you'd want to get that up to over 3,000, possibly four. Speed, obviously, you want, but I'm not in a speed set. I have her in regen. You would want to get her above 200 at least. If you're using her in arena, I would say 250 plus. Uh, she has crit rate, but it's not good because we have the crit damage glove on her just because we wanted the set to be completed. Uh, her crit damage is 172, which actually makes up for her attack being low. And then we've got her resist at 119, her accuracy is 131, both atrocious. I would say if I was going to pick one of these, I would pick accuracy to boost and get that up as much as possible. So that's where I would fix her is more defense, more speed, and more accuracy. After that, it's whatever you want to do on her. So there we go. Let's use her in some battles before we get told to buy stuff. And we're going to get some extra Polarian points. I know you're all excited about that. All right. Let's take her into some fights and see what she can do. We're going to waste some gems here because that's what I do. All right, dungeons. Where can we use her? Let's try her in the dragon's lair. Stage 20s. We're only, we're only going to do 20s here. So let's get rid of him. And we're going to pull her in. Let's see if accuracy is a little more important here, but we're going to throw it in like this. I think we pulled her out. And we put in, now this is a weird one because I actually don't know what my, here we go. You know, let's do this. Dragon 20. This is my Dragon 20 team. Now we can do this. Now we can pull him out. Yes, we're going to pull you out. All right, we're going to put her in the lead to see if speed will help us at all. And I think I'm going to leave the rest the way, actually, we don't think, I don't think we need her. We're going to bring her in. Let's see what happens. Start. Since we have Sylvan in this fight, it's, it's going to be a little bit different. We definitely want to bring a little more attack to the fight. She does, she does reduce turn meter, which is nice for waves, see? She'll reduce her turn meters, which is good. They get less attacks, and then hopefully Silk can stun, and then, you know, Nuke Boy can come in with Kale and take him down. Now, I'm bringing Spirit Host in here because she removes debuffs, which is way more important than Valerie at this point, because Valerie will only heal a little and increase your debuffs. She can remove them. She still works. It's just a little bit more 
effective to not have all those debuffs on you. So that's why I bring Spirit Host. And since we have Syl in here, we actually don't need to worry about War Maiden dying because Syl can just resurrect her. But as you can see, she's really great at keeping the speed up on the team. She's good at keeping herself alive. That's why we want her to have as, as much high defense as possible. And since we have other healers, the fact that Apothecary would be better doesn't really apply because we have heals. And that's why people are like, oh, Ap Apothecary is better. It's like, he's not better or worse. It's just like, it just depends on the situation. Apothecary can't AOE decrease turn meter. So if you need that and you want heroes to take less attacks, then yeah. Hikatoon's way better then. She's way better. I would say she's better in the arena because you want to kill things fast. And by reducing their turn meters, that makes it so they can't attack. You get another attack and you can kill them faster. So it just depends on what you're looking for. I have been saved by both of them. I mean, Apothecary comes in with a clutch heal and he's really defensive when you build him correctly. So he doesn't die and he just keeps healing. He heals like, almost like every other turn, which is crazy. Let's see if she can decrease turn meter. Debuff blocked. He does not like having his turn meter reduct reducted. 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 Redacted. We're just making up terms now. Ah, see, Smite is actually the golden child of Raid. See, look at that damage. Love it or leave it. Now, if she can get decreased speed on this guy, it'd be nice. I don't know if he can even get decreased speed. Is that even possible? I feel like he never gets it put on him. It could be that my accuracy sucks. I don't, I don't really know if that's the reason. I just never see him get a... Yeah, it's always blocked when they attack. So I, I guess decreased speed is not his thing. He's like, you ain't making me slow. I'm fast. I saw a post on Facebook and now I want to play Def Jam Fight for New York. I haven't played it in forever and that game is amazing. Talking about stupid old PS2 games. Yes. Def Jam Fight for New York. Go play it. It's it's really hard to play though, just so you know. It's like one of those games that like super difficult to learn for some reason. But then once you learn it, the game is actually a joke and you can pretty much win every fight. But it's fun to learn how to get to that point. So it looks like this is not bad. This works. So Hikatoon can be used in, main, in pretty much any team at this point. Like I could show you, I'm going to show you a couple dungeons just so you can see what she does. But she can be used in almost any dungeon as your speeder. It just depends on, on the affinity. So if you're in a force affinity dungeon, yeah, you're going to want to probably bring her because she'll do more damage. Let's get out of here. What else? What are the dungeons we want to see? Uh, Minotaur. I, I don't feel like showing Minotaur because it's dumb. Let's see. What do we got for our, our Ice Golem 20? I don't even think I have an Ice Golem 20 team, and I haven't done the video for Ice Golem yet because I'm just I'm waiting because I don't have I don't have a set team. I just kind of throw people in here. Um, this is the one that I started using. Now Apothecary might be more important here. I don't know what to do here. We did do this fight with her. All right. We brought Arbiter in because of we could get more. Um, yeah, you know what? Because we can get more reviving. But we're going to bring her in and see if it works. We're, we'll bring her in. There we go. Is that even worth it? Do we need? No, we want to bring her in, a, in a, as an extra. So we're going to bring these guys in. We got a damage dealer here, damage dealer here. Damage dealer here. So we've got, well, two damage dealers, one support, and two and one speeder. So I would say possibly a protection hero. You know, we'll bring him in. Let's see if he's if he's helpful in here. I honestly don't know, but I want to show him off because he's fun. All right. So what's going with here with this team? Let's just see how they rumble. We've already we've already shown that we can beat it with a ton of teams in other videos. So I don't need to show you that low end heroes can beat this. It's not super important. You can literally watch any one of my other <laughs> champion 
champion um, spotlights and see that you can beat this with all rares. It's fine. It's just a little. Le it's just a little more stressful. That's all. I'm curious how uh, I never brought. I never brought Burn Boy in here, uh, Drexstar. So I'm curious to see if this team is like a, a good team for this fight. She'll regen herself. Um, the only one here who can die from not healing is what's her name? It's Dark Alhane. She's everyone else is in some kind of regen or life steal. Look how much damage Reflect does does. It's crazy. Yet when we get Reflect damage up, it never does anything. But you know, we they get reflect damage up, and my heroes die from it. I love I love the uh, the way this game works. It makes me happy. It's like Dark Souls, where the flaws make it better. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a stupid mechanic, but you know what? Let's roll with it. Oh, I was like, why is she taking damage? I realized that she had the ally protect up. This is the worst wave in the in the fight because of the reflect damage. That's it. Done. If you can wipe them quick, it doesn't really affect you. Jay, decrease turn meters. Always good. <clears throat> it's a little bit of a slowdown here. I saw a little bit of a slowdown on my hero running up there. So as you can see, it looks like this is going... It's hard to tell if it's going well or not, honestly. I would probably bring Spirit Host in here over anyone else. Yeah, see, I knew I knew Dark Alhane would be the first to go. She's got to heal back up, which might not happen. But yeah, she has the, the de decreased speed, which is nice for bosses. If she ever lands it, because like I said, my, my accuracy is not super high on her right now. I would definitely recommend doing some higher accuracy with her to make sure that she can do stuff. But there you go. She got decreased speed. So that's one of the best things you can get on a boss. This one, not so much, because he's going to do that crap on a timer based on his HP anyway. So But, yeah, in most fights, I mean, it can't hurt to have the speed. Let's put it that way. It's not like, oh, we can't win because speed. No, yeah, it's nothing like that. Honestly, still with the stuns and the smite is a lot more fun in this fight. But I just want you to see that you can do it with certain... You don't need to have only Diabolist or only Apothecary or only Anointed. Like, there's, there's never... Almost never. I'm not going to say never, but there's there's almost never a, a reason to not build multiple heroes, especially if they're in different factions. High Katoon is great for the Barbarian faction, which I can't show her in right now, but she helped me beat the, the Barbarian faction. She's the lead hero in that fight for the final fight, and we beat it. Three star. Done. So, yeah, she is good, and she has purpose. And a lot of people don't seem to understand that, and that's why I think I get a lot of, especially from newer players who don't really understand that there is no one amazing hero in this game. There's no one hero that is going to beat the game for you, because that one hero can't be used in 18 different faction wars. You know, that one hero might not be able to be used in a certain arena team that's going to go against a, an arena that has a, a team that has a counter for you. And that's why High Katoon is good. She's a spirit affinity hero that can do the, the, the work of Apothecary, that can do the work of Diabolus, that can do the work of any of those heroes. Keep your team getting turns while reducing the turn meter of other of the other team. So I think if in that case, she would be a much better mid-tier arena hero. I think that's really her place from what I've seen and spider like those are her mating places that we would use her i don't have a team set up where she works in spider so i'm not going to show that fight you can definitely go look that up i've seen many fights where you have basically a bunch of armagers you have her as your speed lead 
And I think maybe, maybe even, what's his name? Grush, possibly. Is this going poorly right now? Good. Kill that last one. See, the problem here is there's no healer is really the problem here. We, we, we got Sill about to die. But I have a feeling if we can kill... There we go. Stun that guy. If we can kill the ad, it doesn't really matter. See, this is when speed down would be great. There you go. Let's see if uh, if the man can live. I should have brought a healer in here. Like Even having Apothecary in here as extra would have been nice. There we go. Provoke. Get the heals. Problem is he has, and he we lost. So there you go. We just lost. So is she good for is she good for this? No, I would probably say if I'm going to change this up, this is why we're doing this. It's not like I'm showing you that. Oh my God, she's the best hero, and I know I don't use her. So I want you to see that there are problems. So let, how about this? Let's take her out, take him out, and we'll put in. And we need something with someone healing. Who's got healing? Who's someone that everyone can get? Let's bring him. No, he doesn't have healing. We don't like him. We're going to bring Valerie. There you go. Start. Just someone who can keep everyone alive. We need more more HP to kind of get through these fights. And this is why I was a little hesitant to bring Drekstar. I was like, ah, I don't know how I feel about it. He's probably better in here than, I would say, Dark Alhane at this point. Because he would survive longer, which he just did. So, I would probably say he would be much, much more reliable in here than Dark Alhane. But this is also part of the game, is that you want to figure out which teams can can mesh well. And that team wasn't doing poorly, it's just they can't they couldn't outlast the boss with the damage output. So you need more healing to get through these fights, especially this fight, because this guy does a lot of damage. Lifesteal may not save you because he's gonna get that big hit. And if he gets a reduction on your a heal reduction on your hero, they can't heal themselves back up, which is a big problem. Yeah, Valerie. Let's see if this lowly rare can take Drekstar's place. And now the reflect damage continues. I would take it off auto, but I want to see someone die. I actually kind of like watching Dark Alhane die from using an AoE on Reflect Damage Heroes. It's it's actually kind of fun. Oh, it only got it only got her halfway because she only had to hit she only hit what three heroes. In a nutshell. And this is gonna go slower because we don't have HP burn. We don't have the extra damage from Drekstar, which is a lot to be honest. He does do a ton of damage. So this might be a slow fight. But everyone's going to be a little more healed. Because we'll have some shields. We'll have some uh, increase on our buffs. She can remove some buffs, which is nice. Some debuffs. She can lower them at least by one turn. Valerie really is my boo. She's in like... She really helped me get through a lot of stuff. Yes, Smite. Smite will make this fight go quicker. Resisted, see? I'm telling you, get that get that accuracy up. Very important for High Katoon. We want that going, going, going. Look at this team. Will they die is the question. There we go. Smite, decrease speed, all the good things, boost turn meters, and then kill. So this is going slow, but it's working. We'll see, because it looks like everybody's getting the extra turns. That's the thing with, um, if you put her in a a shield set, I don't think it would really help you so much. I mean, it'll give you the regen, and it'd be good if you don't have Valerie or any other shield healer. So you could use Hykatoon in that, and it might work okay. Uh, this, she has a lot of options, let's put it that way. You could put her in speed to make her just super fast. For Arena, you could put her in the shield set to make her more like a Valerie. Um, you could 
conceivably keep her in the regen set that I have. I don't know if Life Seal is the best option because she, I don't think she would do as much damage. You'd have to build her with more attack. And I think that would probably negate her a little bit. So I don't know if that's a good option. Like the crit damage gloves that I have on her are incredibly stupid. Don't do that. Everyone will make fun of you. Everyone will make fun of you. I love when people say that. Everyone will make fun of you. Who's going to make fun of you? Some some dork online? Who cares? You do what you want. You put whatever you want. Know you want to put immunity on her? Go ahead. You want to put an attack set on her and max her damage? You live your life. That's what that's the message of High Katoon. Live your life. Hey. <laughs> Instead of chasing that dragon, just live your life. Yeah. I I say this every video. Smite is my favorite thing ever. All right, now he's getting crazy. He's getting crazy. All right, come on. Get that shield up. We need a little shielding, a little healing, a little shielding. There we go. Perfect. Isn't it funny that I had to bring a rare in to do a legendary job? Even though she's she's not doing his job. She's just doing a job that works better here. I would bring Drekstar in here over probably half the heroes in here. And the funny thing about this fight is, is it can it can turn on a dime. Like literally, you could just get hit with something, and then all of a sudden, everything goes wrong, and people start dying. So I never get too too. What's the word I'm looking for? You don't get cocky in here. This is probably my least favorite dungeon now. It used to be my my somewhat least favorite. Spider was my least favorite, but now that I have Drekstar for Spider, this is my least favorite. This is my least favorite boss fight. Because it's very unpredictable. Uh oh, are we there? And look at that. It was easy as pie. So there you go. Haikatoon can be used in any of these fights. You just gotta, obviously, you're gonna get really bad times for it, but you can use her. Unless you have, obviously, better heroes than I'm, what I'm using right now. But remember, we're free to play. We're Mystery Shards. We don't pull anything else. So this is my life. Live it as I will. All right. So there you go. That is some info about High Katoon and how you can use her. Um, if you're looking for more spider-based guides on her, I would recommend a couple um, of the other content creators that are out there. I know a lot of them have, a few of them have made videos about High Katoon in the spider and that's pretty much what she's used for in a lot of things and arena. So you can use her for whatever you want. I, like I said, don't use her that much. She's not, she's not my favorite. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, but I definitely can see her value. I just don't use her for those kinds of things because I have other heroes that fill those roles. And she hasn't come up as a uh, hero that I really need to build as of right now. And we already beat the barbarian faction keep. So I don't really need to invest in her further right now until I beat the other factions. So there you go. Hi, Katoon. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you uh, build her. She's uh, She is good. I, I just don't use her. <laughs> I don't want to be Debbie Downer, but that's where we're at. All right. So thank you guys for watching. This is Hi, Katoon. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd. You guys take care.